Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. I'm back with another video. Today's video is going to be about teeth and how you look after your teeth. We only have one set of teeth <laughs> and we need to look after them. Yesterday I went to my dentist. I was getting some sensitivity, but it was my regular six month checkup. And I went to the dentist and um, he said, basically there's no fillings or anything like that, but you're probably experiencing some sensitivity due to maybe I'm brushing too hard, maybe, well, these toothy tabs that I mentioned in my last favorites video, they can be quite abrasive. So if I'm using them every day, then obviously they they could be actually damaging um, my teeth by wearing down the enamel. And once the enamel has gone, it's gone. Enamel basically is what coats the teeth. And I'm just gonna demonstrate this and pretend that this is the tooth for a second. So your enamel is obviously just around the tooth. And once that gets worn down, it gets closer and closer to the nerve of the tooth. And that's where you experience more sensitivity. Sensitivity can be from drinking hot drinks, drinking cold drinks, um, the change between the hot and cold and things like that. Sometimes when it's very, very cold in the atmosphere as well, you can sometimes feel quite a sharp pain if you have that worn down enamel. So when you brush too hard, or you're using abrasive agents like a tooth whitening toothpaste or um, the toothy tabs that I mentioned, although they were a favorite of mine, I'm kind of reconsidering how much I should use them because obviously I was using them every day and that's probably why they were looking so sparkly and white is because they were probably wearing down my enamel. So I'm gonna reduce using them maybe once a month or something like that. I, I didn't realize that they can be so abrasive. And if you um, so yeah, I just wanted to kind of make sure that you know it's all well and good you know making ourselves look beautiful on the outside with makeup but it's just as important to actually be healthy on the inside you know as well as you know our skin our teeth our hair our nails those all need to be well looked after for obviously for us to be as beautiful as you know we can possibly be because if you if you think about it we only do have one set of teeth once we're a lot older and maybe our gums are not as strong, our teeth may fall out and it's not going to be a very pretty picture if we have hardly any teeth in our mouth. So um, so yeah, I just thought it's a really important subject that I wanted to share with you guys. I care about you guys so much. I want you to know this information and this is information that I've learned through my 32 years of life. So I wanted to share some wisdom with you guys. So number one, yeah, so we only have one set of teeth, we, we have to look after them. So as children, um, if you have any kids, if you've got small children, trying to reduce the amount of sugar they eat, um, probably best thing to do is introduce a brushing, um, brushing their teeth routine, um, especially at night time, because obviously if they're used to brushing their teeth, they'll carry that later on in life. So it's really important that we ourselves look after our teeth as well as looking our um, children's teeth as well because obviously they don't know any better we know a lot better than them and Sammy he's like two years and four months and he's you know we introduced him to brush his teeth well I'm there brushing his teeth really so um, it's kind of really really important for you guys to try and implement that in your um, children's routine as well to get them to brush their teeth um, so it's always recommended that you should brush twice a day so that would normally be in the morning and in the evening before you go to bed. Um, in the morning, I would say that the best time to brush your teeth wouldn't be straight away as soon as you get up and wash your face. My best advice to brush your teeth would be to brush your teeth after you've had your breakfast. The reason being is that if you were to brush your teeth in the morning before you've had your breakfast, you're causing your teeth to be a lot more um, prone to damage because you're wearing down any protection first and then you might have tea you might have orange juice you might have acid, acidic drinks and this can actually affect your teeth and and have an effect in terms of making them weaker I would say so best thing to do would be to have your breakfast and then brush your teeth afterwards plus if you think about it you went to sleep with your teeth being brushed so there's not anything really that's going to have built up overnight um, the best thing to do would be after you've had breakfast so Try and maintain any time that you do eat something to brush your teeth afterwards. Um, so yeah, and if you have had something to eat and you can't brush your teeth because you obviously you're maybe in a restaurant or you're out with friends and you can't just be like, okay, I'm just gonna go nip over and brush my teeth. Um, I would recommend you get some chewing gum. I love these Mentos chewing gums. They're sugar-free and they're really good at helping clean my teeth because it's strange, but when I 
when I have some chewing gum afterwards, I actually feel not only obviously maybe the um, the menthol or spearmint refreshes my my mouth, but at the same time, it's the chewing action that actually helps to get your saliva going, which helps to break down any kind of food or things stuck in between your teeth. So. That's a really good tip. If you can't brush your teeth, then just chew some gum. And these are really good, I love them. Um, number three, make sure you floss. Now, I floss um, normally at night time, um, sometimes in the daytime too. There are two types of flosses. There's, well, there's probably more than one type of floss. Um, there's this thin, thin style of floss, and there is the tape form. And the tape, I'll just show you. Tape looks like this. I prefer the tape because I can really sort of get it in between the teeth. And what you need to do when flossing, you just roll up the floss in either finger and then just use it to get right in between um, the areas between your teeth. <clears throat> if you do have larger gaps, then I would suggest you use these interdental brushes. So these look like this. They're just small, very, very small brushes. Um, basically any areas that your toothbrush can't reach so they look like these these are um, by Colgate and they come in different sizes this is a medium and these you would wedge in between the gaps in your teeth especially it's very hard to get the toothbrush at the back so these are ideal to kind of clean out anything that's sitting there and you especially want to make sure you brush your teeth thoroughly especially at night especially if you've had things like meat and stuff because they could get wedged in between your teeth and it can cause a decay and can cause some bad breath as well so that's another important thing to remember the next thing would be to make sure when you're brushing your teeth you're brushing your teeth effectively and what i mean is this is my son's toothbrush <laughs> what i mean is that when you're brushing your teeth like so you want to make sure that you're getting into all areas that you can't necessarily reach easily like behind your teeth right at the back just really get in with your toothbrush and sort of have that flicking out motion you want to get rid of any plaque um, around your mouth because what happens is that if you don't get rid of any plaque the minerals in your saliva will calcify the plaque and actually make it turn to tartar that's how you pronounce it I was trying to pronounce it it's tartar and um, the tartar is really difficult. Once it hardens, it, it's basically like, you know how you get lime scale at the bottom of your kettle sometimes? That's exactly what's happening in your mouth. So that's really difficult to get out. So you need to either make sure that you're brushing your teeth really well and getting into all the areas right at the back of your mouth. And you have to really focus between where your gum and your teeth are. So that area, that's where you should be brushing. You want to get rid of anything, any food, any leftover things. It sounds really disgusting, but make sure you get rid of it. Um, okay, so make sure you do do that so that you get rid of any potential tartar buildup. Make sure you brush gently. The reason being is that obviously when we're brushing our teeth, if it's quite abrasive and if it's quite harsh, remember that enamel is getting worn down. Think of your teeth as crystals. Think of your teeth as diamonds, that they're so precious that you really need to look after them and make sure that, that you're not overly aggressive with them. Like imagine you had a diamond ring and you had sandpaper and you were wedging that sandpaper back and forth. You're gonna potentially damage that diamond or crystal. You don't wanna be doing that to your teeth. Plus, if you think about it, your your teeth are almost crystal-like, so any kind of um, switch between hot and cold, so if you're having a hot meal and then you're having a cold drink, that difference between the hot and cold can actually cause your teeth to crack from the outside. And you may notice, I mean, it's quite normal for you to have some um, cracks in your teeth. So if you try and minimize that, maybe drinking through a straw as well, so any acidic drinks or any fizzy drinks, especially like Coke and... Pepsis, which are really bad, but taste really good. <laughs> um, just make sure that you're drinking those types of drinks through a straw and just make sure that you're not brushing too hard as well. The next one on my list is, um, so yeah, don't use abrasive toothpaste or um, a toothpaste that can cause abrasive action in terms of whitening toothpaste. Normally that's very, very abrasive. It's got agents in there that actually can be damaging your enamel and wearing it thin and wearing it down. So as I mentioned, those toothy tabs that I liked, I'm going to be using them a lot less. So do be careful if you're using anything like that um, because it can wear down your enamel and which could lead to a lot of sensitivity as well as potentially, you know, 
you losing your teeth and you know in the long run um what's this oh i wanted to share this with you this is a natural way to brush your well not necessarily brush but if you wanted to whiten your teeth this is what's called a miswak okay this you can get usually from arab countries and it's like a stick basically and what you do you cut one end and you you make it look like the end of a brush so i'm just going to show you you could you kind of should use a knife really but you make it look like a brush and then you start to almost brush your teeth with it but it's much less abrasive than using a whitening toothpaste and it does really really help in whitening your teeth as well as it's got some natural components in there that actually help whiten your teeth and um, almost like a natural bleaching but not necessarily a bleaching so that's very very good that's a natural way the other thing is not to eat too much sugars or too many sugars because what you're not maybe necessarily realizing although you may be brushing your teeth day and night you're not necessarily ridding the sweetness that you eat from your bloodstream so if you're if you're a very very sweet tooth person then obviously you're going to have a lot more of a, like a sweeter blood type i would say so what happens is that your your teeth your teeth um, have a root. Each tooth has a root underneath which is like a nerve basically and that's why sometimes we get that sensitivity but what's also happening is your blood supply is obviously being supplying that root with blood um, for nutrition or anything else like that and what's happening is that the actual root itself is having a blood supply that is very very sh sweet and, and that sweetness can actually be rotting your teeth from the inside so as well as looking after your teeth by brushing them you need to cut down on sugary foods and sugar by the way is addictive as well i was watching a program the other day and they were saying how basically a lot of people are addicted to sugar some of them don't realize it my husband didn't realize it that he was probably addicted to sugar because he would get a craving to eat something sweet he'd eat it and then I don't know about an hour later or something and get another craving to eat um, sweet things so it's kind of important that you realize that it's very very addictive to be eating sweet things so maybe less than that as well as well as for your health generally for your teeth um, but also because you don't want to be addicted to something like sugar especially another thing is try to cut down on white sugar white sugar is not naturally white um, sugar itself is basically white sugar has been refined to make it white it's basically been bleached so you're better off having brown sugar i always buy brown sugar um it's just better it's more natural it hasn't been bleached it hasn't been processed and it hasn't been all the time you're actually better off having brown sugar because sweeteners can actually are carcinogenic they've been found to basically they can potentially be causing cancers i can go into a whole host of other stuff in this video but I won't. okay so I've I've guess I've kind of more or less said everything the other thing is that if you do suffer from sensitivity I use this pro enamel toothpaste the pro enamel toothpaste is very very good if you have sensitive teeth if you're also having that sensitivity and it's not necessarily going away my dentist recommended that I can just put a little bit on the area of sensitivity I can go to sleep and then in the morning hopefully the ingredients within the Sensodyne toothpaste has helped to get rid of that sensitivity overnight. So that's the tip um, that I would recommend if anybody's having sensitive teeth. And I think I've covered everything. Sorry if I've been going on but I think it's so important to get this information out there. It's not necessarily always readily available, it's not necessarily being taught in schools. Um, but I think it's really important that we look after our teeth. We only have one set of teeth and if we lose one tooth it's not like we're going to be getting another set of teeth later on and that's it i'm going to leave you guys and i'm going to make you guys make sure that you brush tonight make sure you floss so buy a tooth floss if you guys don't have a tooth floss already make sure you're brushing your teeth at night time as well as morning after breakfast and make sure to cut down on acidity and sugary foods and that's it so i hope you guys are all doing great i hope you're all having a great time whatever you're doing and i will see you again in the next video bye guys